is something we're really proud of. It's actually the first time we have a Telecaster. Yeah, it's a TL10M Tele style guitar. Yeah. Which is uh, really based on legendary design from the 50s. Yeah, but the body is, was it in the 50s also Ash? Yes, 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 yes. It was. This is uh, original tele, tele design, yeah, Ash body. Cool. So, this is something we're really proud of because it's the first time we incorporated in our, own, uh, in our instruments uh, Ash Wood and it's actually also the first time we made a Telecaster. Yeah, it's a Tele style guitar. Mm -hmm. The model is called TL10M mm -hmm. and it's really designed on uh, uh, legendary tele from the 50s. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, it's an Ash body which is really the best choice for, for the uh, Telecaster style guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a maple neck and fingerboard. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, in-house made uh, standard tuners. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Tele style bridge and two uh, single coil pickups. It also has a, a three position pickup selector switch and uh, volume and tone control. So, in short, this is really tele style guitar with yeah. all the gra imagery as it should be. So, it really looks like yeah. an. And also, the bridge is actually vintage. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. It's vintage three bar barrel style as in old Telecasters. Uh, maybe show us some spanky sounds you can get from the, the guitar. Yeah, this is uh, really guitar made for, <laughs> for uh, such a sound. It's a guitar, it will cover everything from classic country, rock, maybe even jazz and or pop music. We should say that music. at this point, Telecaster is the most used guitar in all the different genres. Yes. I looked that up on the Google. Yeah, Trust yeah. Google. Yeah, you, you <laughs> could hear this guitar on many, many very popular music hits mm -hmm. from the last few decades. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I hold it in my hands, a jazz bass. It's called the uh, GB10. Yeah. Um, the body is from Ash, as the neck is from Maple, as also the fretboard. Uh, what I find really cool is those inlays on the fretboard. They yeah. look amazing. It's really unique shaped, so. Yeah. Um, apart from out, that, yeah. the tuners are standard in house made. Yeah, yeah, more uh, more vintage style looking. Mm -hmm. Open mm -hmm. gear. Yeah, yeah. If you can see. Um, and then the pickups. It has two pickups that you would find on any jazz bass guitar, and the um, tonal options you can get out of this guitar are actually um, the first um, pot is for the volume of the neck pickup or middle. Or middle, yeah, it. whatever <laughs> call it. Then uh, the second is for the bridge, and this one, the last one, is for the tone for yeah, uh, for both pickups. Yeah. yeah. So let's hear some sounds. Um, let's start with the neck pickup and the tone all the way up. Really warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you would expect from this jazz bass guitar. Yeah. The next one, the bridge pickup. Yeah, and cool. both together, you heard them in the uh, jam. And if I put the tone down, we get sound a little bit like this. Yeah, 
That's so cool, man. I'm really proud of those two guitars because they they just look natural and feel natural and sound great. Yeah, this is really great sounding instruments and you will enjoy it for many years if you choose for your main instrument. Yeah. Or if you pro, you can use it as a workhorse. Yeah, of course, for a second guitar or whatever. Or maybe.